Hello Minecrafters everywhere, my name is Cubic, and welcome back to yet another episode of our Minecraft Let's Play series. Hope you guys are excited for today. We are going to be working some more on the library project that we've had going on for a little while. Yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> uh, a lot of grunt. Oh gosh, voice. Sorry about that. Get stuff like caught in your throat. Uh, but yeah, so, yeah, we're going to be working on the library, trying to get some more things done there. We are not even close to where we need to be. This is painful. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, we're, we're getting there. We got a few more projects and a few more things to put together before we can start to get a mock-up done of it. And then hopefully we will get uh, a little bit of a test in here at some point. But yeah, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Let's jump into Minecraft. Let me make sure I hit the right scene here. Yes, I always get too confused. I need to get, I'm going to delete this other scene. Yes. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Professional. Alright, so yeah. Uh, we're here in our world, and I completed this little, I guess, uh, I call it the bumblebee pattern, but the uh, the <laughs> the warning track, I guess, um, for where all our droppers, in case you guys missed last episode or anything in last episode, we were working on getting our library set up here, uh, our library request system that's actually... It's very plausible. Um, I don't know if it's going to work exactly how I want it to, but we should be pretty darn close. Uh, we double inverted the signal here, so that way... Uh, get out of here. Hello, friend. I guess you get out of here and then say hello, friend. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I'm going to do something here really quickly. Something that probably should have been done before I started recording. Of course not close by. <laughs> it's such an anticlimactic thing that's about to happen right now. That's the wrong floor. Nope. I... That thing. Yeah, so... <laughs> We are currently in the midst of doing that. We hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Uh, my day has been kind of good. I've had a, a day off here of not doing anything, um, as far as like going places. You know, like I don't, have to, I don't have to do something. Um, is everything I wanted to do? You know, getting some uh, chores done, getting some things cleaned out, and uh, we we're cleaning out uh, my basement today. And I actually found some of my old school books that. Uh, Probably older than, <laughs> older than maybe a few of you in the audience. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's a couple people in the audience that uh, the books are older than they are, um, which is scary and terrifying. And I can't believe I'm that old now. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so that uh, is a thing. And uh, I was looking through stuff, and I actually remember uh, it's kind of interesting. My uh, I was visiting with my cousins not too long ago, and one of my cousins actually telling me that. Uh, they don't teach cursive very much in public schools. I was floored by that. Because um, I had to write, like, I, I kid you not when I say this, I had to write, like, ridiculous amounts of papers in cursive. There was literally no end to how much cursive I had to write. <laughs> I can't write in print or, anymore because I've written in cursive for so long I don't know how to write in print. Um, but yeah, that actually like just floored me. I, it reminded me of that when I seen some of my old school books of all the things I've written in cursive and all that. And it's like, really? Like they don't teach that anymore. I feel ancient. <laughs> but yeah, we're working on a, a tunnel right now um, for all the items. Um, so I guess I probably should. I'm not good at storytelling because I want to tell my story and then I get distracted and I don't actually tell everything that's going to be happening here with the. Uh, with the system here, but yeah, we're digging a tunnel right now, and this tunnel is going to have ice underneath, that's why we're di building up too high, like, so the ice is going to sit right here where the cobblestone is, and we're just putting glass here, so in case anything melts, it doesn't spill everywhere, uh, which will be nice, and yeah, we've got, um, a little ways to go to run all this ice and everything, um, which I don't, th it shouldn't be too bad, I think we'll be okay, if not, we're not, we're no longer going to be okay. Uh, but yeah, so, um, 
like going back, I, I can remember so many pa papers that I wrote in cursive, like just consistently. I, I actually sat there and wrote the um, the cursive alphabet out and showed it to my cousins, like, look, you know, this is how it is. And um, I actually sat there for a couple minutes and, like, actually uh, did, like, sat there and like, you know, I've got, I've got this, this letter down, but I don't have this one, you know, I don't write it like that, I've never written it like that, you know, it's kind of like going through it, I felt like such a old person, and even though they're very similar ages to me, I'm like, really? <laughs> um, but yeah, so, like, I see people, um, like, you know, when you sign for the, like, when you go to a store and you sign for your, if you're using, I think it's your credit card that you have to sign for. I don't have either. I don't have a debit card or a credit card. I pay cash for everything. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. Um, but yeah, some people, like, have to sign. I've literally watched people, like, do s just swirls, <laughs> like they're in first grade with coloring and just swirl. <laughs> and it is the funniest thing, because it's like, wait a minute, if somebody, like, got your credit card or debit card, I don't know somebody tell me what it is um, if somebody stole that they could just easily just do the same thing that you just did like I don't know if that's very secure <laughs> it's like having one two three four is your password <laughs> it's just like everybody defaults to that just scribble on it and that that's your signature you know I'm just waiting for people to like start you know, use like smiley faces for signatures and stuff that'd be hilarious I mean I would like I'd give props to somebody who did that and <laughs> just like you know what I, I would argue with you about it, but that's that's just hilarious um, that you're willing to take the time to do that. But yeah, so over here, um, we've got a little drop shoot that I made. Uh, I got some stone bricks on the walls here, and this drop shoot is going to have a, a wall here, probably a wall of glass, um, and then we're going to have blocks sitting up here, uh, and then water flowing in, and then the water's just going to drop the items onto the ice, um, so that way we can just uh, rather, you know, we got a, a wide system up there, we can just narrow it down to one space, and that way the items can travel uh, all in one line here, we don't have to do a wide tunnel to do it. So yeah, um, I'm working on getting some glass right now, I do not have a lot of sand, um, which is kind of unfortunate, it's actually quite a cool pathway now I'm looking at it, uh, it's quite unfortunate that I don't have, um, I don't have a whole lot of sand, but it's really like never something that I, I need a whole lot of, or if I do, I just get it. It's, yeah, so, <laughs> sand generator. I have so many projects. I can't start another project. <laughs> I start so many projects and I don't finish them, and it makes me upset and disappointed, and yeah. Um, I do have a little bit of glass here, so we can use some of that. Um, I don't think, yeah, I can run some of the ice here as well. I'm also going to put down few chests here for all of our drops that we're getting. Uh, where do I want to put this? I guess put it right here. And put like our cobblestone in here. Put everything else in here. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we're running a little bit more glass here on this path as much as we can. I'm trying to keep the same theme going little bit unsuccessful in doing so, but uh, you know, try to keep this thing going all the way through. I don't know what I'm going to put above this, because I don't really want just this glass tunnel just like this. I'd like to have something above it. I have really no idea what I want to put above it. I just screw up that pattern. Uh, how so, I might ask. That's wrong. There we go. Pattern fixed. Crisis averted. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yeah, I start so many projects, man. I gotta, I gotta finish these things. I, I don't know how. <laughs> What's finishing a project? What does that even mean? <laughs> uh, pattern. Come back. Okay. How much? Okay, need more black glass. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, so... Hope you guys are all doing okay. Um, hope you guys are also enjoying um, the recent content on the channel. Let me know uh, what you guys think. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Because if you aren't, let me know. Seriously, like there, you have either a, a tablet or a keyboard or phone that you can type with. Just type 
I want to see more of this, and I will give you more of that. As long as it's within reason. <laughs> I want 100 episodes in one... No, 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 no. But why not? You can... No, I can't do 100 episodes in one day. But so and so... I don't care what so and so did. I'm not doing 100 episodes in one day. Can you imagine? I mean, I could do 100 episodes. Just be one second episodes. Just put it in a playlist, and if you have good internet, you can just watch it and, like, uh, freeze frame, I guess, or stop motion. I don't think YouTube would be able to handle that. <laughs> that would be hilarious, but also terrible at the same time. Yeah, so... Desert. Uh, the unfinished steampunk village of unfinishedness. The unfinished village of perpetual unfinishedness? I don't know. <laughs> Something along those lines. Okay. Get all the sand. I do like how sand looks in this texture pack, though. I think it looks a little bit cleaner and nicer. So yeah, you guys let me know. I think I asked this last episode, too, is that um, if you guys like the texture pack, let me know. Because I, personally, it's after playing Minecraft for so long, it's like the default textures just hurt me so much. And then something like this, where it's nice and clean, everything's... Um, you know, it makes sense-ish. Um, it makes sense enough that it's, you know, like, it's not like, oh, that, that's absolutely absurd texture there. It's, it's, it all makes sense and all flows really well. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys like the texture pack. If not, I don't really know what to, just, <laughs> just, I do a video where it's just like, you will like the texture pack. <laughs> you must like it. That's all that, no. Um, but yeah, so, I was actually looking the other day for other texture packs, and I realized there's not a whole lot of real, like, there's a lot of crazy fantasy ones, and those are really cool for maps. As far as survival is concerned, there's not a whole lot of survival texture packs that, um, I would say really improve upon the vanilla textures, and there's, I'm sure there's a few or, or so out there, but it's kind of like, if you use a texture pack on a server, you're going to see something that no one else sees, if that makes sense. So you're going to build a building, and it's going to look really, really good. But if you turn on turn off your texture pack, it might look absolutely horrible. And all your friends are going to look and go, he thinks this looks good? Like, <laughs> is he going insane? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that was, that's been one of my things, is that I kind of wish there was like a, a texture pack. And I know there's uh, texture packs like... Um, What's it called? Uh, Faithful. I'm talking like a texture pack kind of like in between this texture pack and Faithful where it's kind of like, you know, there's modifications to the textures, but it's not such an extreme modification that the things that a, a player is going to see are different than a player without the texture pack is going to see. Um, and so I think this texture pack is pretty close in that regard, I think there's a few things that aren't quite the same, like the glass textures are definitely one of those things. Um, I think that the acacia wood, the acacia wood looks really good in this texture pack. Acacia wood looks terrible, to me at least, looks terrible in vanilla. The only time acacia wood looks really good is if somebody mixes it really well with a building, but just in, like an acacia house, like that's just, no. I've done that build before, it's just not fun. It doesn't look good, you get annoyed after a while. Alright, we're gonna have to be like really risky here. Ow. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I was like, that zombie's running fast. Oh, <laughs> it's a baby zombie. I can't hit him. I was like, hey, look, that's an awfully fast zombie going on there. Hello, friend. Alright, I think we got enough sand, yeah. Heh. 
Okay, good. <laughs> I don't like skeletons. But yeah, I mean, you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Like, glass textures, maybe not as realistic, but, like, the black wool textures, acceptable. Um, I think the stone bricks, not quite as much. Um, the chests are acceptable because nobody really cares about chests. Um, they're just there. <laughs> um, yeah, so, like, the texture pack, I think, um, for, I, I like it, but I think there's some, some points to it that it'll like. Um, maybe this could be a little bit closer to vanilla, simply because if you're going to play multiplayer with it, it's kind of like, um, okay. But yeah, for single player, this texture pack works really well. Um, I might do other texture packs in the future if I get bored of this one, or maybe go back to vanilla. Um, you know, I'm always thinking in the back of my head, um, you know, is this texture pack going to look good if I turn it off? Like, if, if, if I'm building something, and like, you know, this obviously looks okay in vanilla textures. Um, I built this in vanilla textures, but I'm always thinking it in the back of my head when I'm building. You know, what is this going to look like in vanilla textures? What is it going to, you know, is it going to look okay? Is it going to look terrible? Is it going to um, make me want to hurt myself? You know, something like that. <laughs> um, it's going to be interesting. So, oh, I do have some glass. Oh, cool. Uh, and a random cool thing. Okay. okay. Yeah, so, um, where I put some ink sacks in here. There. There we go. Alright, so. Let's get, uh. Why do I not have, like, a fast way of getting to the library? It's always walk all the way around. Alright, so yeah, let's, uh, let's head down here, and maybe we'll get this pipe built <laughs> by the end of the episode. <laughs> yes, high expectations for the episode, let's go. Alright, so let's get to the end here, and we're going to make things happen. Continuing patterns. I'm not OCD, I know. Okay, <laughs> like, I... I'm not really sure how to define OCD. I'm pretty sure it's like people who like, you know, can't, like I can live without fixing like a pattern. Um, I think it's people who are like really like so obsessive over it that they can't, like OCD for anybody who doesn't know, I get, it's like, you know, if there was, um, if there was like a, in fact, I think I have an OCD texture pack. <laughs> Claims to not have OCD, has OCD texture pack. Um, okay. Yes, and I'm gonna add on this. Oops. Not that. Done, so this is gonna take a second. But I'll show you guys what OCD... Like, you see how all of these textures are the exact same or very similar? Um, Like if we look, I guess like a best example would be like, like in here. You see how all these textures are very, very similar. They're all squares. You know, it's got uh, some interesting parts to it, but it's very much like it's very clean. Um, not a whole lot of breaking the pattern, so to speak. Um, but if we were to remove like a texture and have uh, just the regular granite texture, that'd be a te that would be like annoying. Like that really wouldn't annoy me, I don't think. Quite like the texture pack. Nope, not not switching. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys can kind of see how how things work as far as that's concerned. Um, I guess I can head outside and show you guys what that looks like um, in better perspective because there's a lot of different blocks on, in the outdoors <laughs> um, that are, I would say, mm, how would I, how would I put it? Uh, that would say you know there's a lot of different a lot of different textures, I guess is the best way I can put it. Um, we see how the stone bricks look. They're very similar to the cobblestone. If we head outside here, you guys can see how all of these textures are very, very similar. There's no breaking of the pattern. There's nothing going on here that's like would freak you out. 
Um, that's kind of what the OCD thing is. It's just basically, you know, if you were to do a, uh, a pattern here of, like, birch wood and then put, like, one random dirt block, that would annoy somebody. That really wouldn't annoy me. Um, but, you know, I've, like, if I'm trying if I'm trying to be a perfectionist about something and I see something, I just have to fix it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so let's turn that off and that one back on. Hopefully something doesn't kill me in that time. I'm paused anyway, so he'll be okay. <laughs> he'll be fine. No. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of uh, the the whole premise of it, I guess. Um, somebody else in the comments can probably correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, so where's I going with this? OCD, something about it. Yeah, but basically, I don't I don't think I'm necessarily OCD, but things like you know, like if I was to break this pattern, it would bother me to no end every time I look at it. That's, I think, that's, uh, that might be on the verge. <laughs> um, but like if I'm working on like a graphic design project, like if you guys, like I actually, um, recently have gotten into a lot of graphic design. Like I, I did like an Instagram page uh, with one of my friends. Um, and we decided to do like some quotes and stuff, you know, just like that stuff, that very generic stuff. But, Every time you know, I get into the graphic design stuff, and I, I really enjoy it, um, it's fun for me. Um, but anytime I mess something up a little bit, and I look at that post, I can't. I, I immediately notice it. Nobody else will ever notice it. Okay, I'm telling you right now, there is no human being on the planet that is gonna go, "That's off." But I do. <laughs> And because I worked on it, it's my project, and it's something that I've taken pride in doing. And that's something that, uh, whenever I see it, I just, I can't, I can't, I get upset. I might have OCD, <laughs> ever so slightly. Um, yeah, but, um, but I've been, like, really enjoying doing a lot of the graphic design lately. I don't really know if I want to become, like, a graphic designer, because I've heard from a lot of people that... Graphic design, the career market for it, especially for college graduates, is saturated beyond belief. Like, you cannot find a job in that in that aspect. If you can do both, like, graphic design and web design or something like that, um, or have, you know, you can do some graphic design off the side, get that built up, but you also have experience in other fields and, um, you know, in computer science and what have you. Uh, that is, that is something that, you know, will help, that'll help you out. You can still do graphic design on your own free time. Um, yeah, but, uh, like, I've heard from people, like, their passions, their hobbies, like art, for example. I'm going to tell you guys right now that if you are an aspiring artist, do not make that your career. Okay, because art, it, art, graphic design and art are very... I don't want to say similar, but as far as like they fall in the same ca categories as you only get paid for how much value your con how much your content is valued, so to speak. Uh, it's the same with YouTube, in the sense um, YouTube kind of has that system that it's very much if you if you remain popular, if you remain um, one of the the bigger YouTubers, you have that uh, that constant. Uh, you have that constant of you are a re where am I going? You are a re reliable YouTuber. I'm getting more ink. I think um, you're a more reliable YouTuber. People watch you a lot, but as soon as your subs start to drop off and everything, it's no longer a stable work environment. You know your paycheck is severely based off of how well you are doing, how well your content is doing. That's kind of what art is like. Um, you know you sell paintings or I don't know I don't know what kind of, I'm not too familiar on the uh, the whole career itself or what goes into it but um, besides drawing <laughs> uh, when I was 10 11 12 I think I, I was in art um, which I think helps me in graphic design a lot but uh yeah like that's something that you know if you're like one of my friends was like you know I thought about becoming an artist but figure going to computer science and then you have a job there and you can buy all the art supplies you want and that's the path get a job that actually like pays you and you can do um, 
all of the different, you know, all of your hobbies and interests on the side. Um, you know, with that job, with that job that's paying you well. Wait, I really... I'm thinking computer science for me, just because that's something that I enjoy, I think. It's more of like, I've had no real inspiration um, on why to go into computer science. Like, everybody has a reason. I don't really have a reason. It's just kind of like I'm into it, I guess. Um, but everybody has, like, a, a, a wrong that what they want to write, so to speak. Like, uh, when somebody, like, makes a, an app, you know, it's because they see a missing space. I really can't think off the top of my head, oh, I want to fix that. It's just more of like, um, okay. Uh, there's not a whole lot of me that's like wanting to go into like app development or something because I just don't, like there's, I don't really have a right that I want to wrong there. Um, so to speak. So it's kind of like, I, I, you know, I'm struggling with that aspect, I guess, but it's, it's one of those things that, uh, I guess I'll kind of discover as I go on through life, I guess. I know some people, you should do YouTube. Okay, I'm going to tell you something that uh, is relatively on, on the serious side, that YouTube is a great hobby, but it's a very, like I talked about before, it's, it's, a, it's based off of how popular your YouTube videos remain, and I don't... Um, I don't see I don't see myself as being like one of the most entertaining YouTubers that's ever existed, because I I, I make Minecraft videos, <laughs> like I make I make videos where you know I'm a high school student that makes Minecraft videos and other gaming videos at times. Um, I don't see myself becoming the next you know biggest YouTuber ever. Neither do I really want to. Not because I don't think it would be awesome, I think it'd just be a little bit of stress for me, a little bit too much stress. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of like, you know, discovering that career path has kind of been uh, a little bit interesting for me in the past couple of months. And, you know, it's kind of like that the pressure of like going into uh, getting ready to graduate here relatively soon. Uh, I'm trying not to give away my age here, but I, I'm pretty sure I have in the past. Um, but it's something that, you know, it's kind of like, it's scary until I figure it out. And that's something that I'm not really sure about, you know. I love, I do love, I thought about like robotics engineering as well would be something that would be cool. Um, but again, I don't really have a, a, a genuinely good reason to do it. It's just kind of like, well, I'm interested in it, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I'll discover that and kind of do that. Um, the one thing, though, I, I keep telling myself, because I work uh, retail right now, just as to help pay for college and so forth, never, ever working retail again. Not that I don't like the people, um, or that I don't like the... Uh, well, I don't really care for the environment, but it's just that constant doing the same thing over and over again, I cannot stand. That's why I like games like Minecraft or, um, or games like, um, I've been playing a few other games, I'm trying not to leak those out, because I haven't uploaded, I guess Creative Verse went out on my channel not too long ago. Um, you know, kind of games like that where it's, it's, a, it's still progression, like we're progressing in Minecraft, we're not just consistently breaking cobblestone over and over again, um, just for endless amounts of days, you know? Like, we're not doing that. We're actually progressing towards getting a, library, a request system done for a library, and that's a progression thing. That's something that we're um, excited about, and that's something that, you know, I want to do as a career as well, is just be able to do a project and then progress there and then um, move on. So... Yeah, and I guess that's something that um, everybody struggles with, I guess, at, at points. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I, I just say things and I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of like one of those things that just kind of freaks you out until until you find out, okay, I actually want to do this or I want to do that. Um,